The last rhythm that I assessed during the code was sinus Brady. So I'm first going to put in the time that I assessed it, which was at 12.05. The patient was sinus Brady. And then I'm going to press accept. And then you see that it falls in the correct place of the timeline. And that's how you document rhythms. Now, so far we've documented when the code started, all the vital signs that we obtained and the rhythms that we obtained during the code. And you can see that the timeline is now shaping out. Let's continue to document. Next, let's document the medications that we administered during the code. To document the medications, let's use the medications list. So let's click on Ambiodorone. Ambiodorone was ordered by Dr. Dookie Hauser. So let's find Dookie Hauser. And it was given by Dr. Helene. These were the two doctors that were present during the code. The dose of the amiodarone that I gave was 300 milligrams. It was given intravenously through which site? It was none of these because these sites are pretty old. So let's document that we gave it. I remember it being in the right upper extremity. And the time that it was administered was at 12.03 p.m. on 12.02. Now let's press accept to file this medication. And you'll see that in 12.03, amiodarone is documented for 300 milligrams IV in the right upper extremity. Now, what other medications did we administer during the code? I see next that we also gave calcium chloride. So I'm going to select calcium chloride. Dr. Doogie Hauser ordered the medication and it was given by Dr. Worrell. We administered one gram of calcium. It was given intravenously in the same IV and we gave this medication at 12.03 as well. I'm going to press accept to file it. And you'll see the calcium was documented for 12.03. The next medication that we administered was dextrose. So I'm going to select dextrose. It was ordered by the same providers. We administered 50 mLs. It was given IV push through that IV in the right upper extremity. And this was given at 12 p.m. This is one of the very first medications that we administered during the code. I'm going to press accept to file. And then you'll see at 12 o'clock, the D50 was administered. The next medication I see that we administered during the code was epinephrine. So I'm going to click on epinephrine. We administered one milligram into the IV that's in the right upper extremity. And this medication was given at 12.01 p.m. Remember, putting in the correct time is so important so that it falls correctly into the timeline. Now to document this, I'm going to press accept. And then you'll see at 12.01, epinephrine was administered. The next medication that I see we administered was sodium bicarb. So I'm going to click on sodium bicarb. We administered 50 MEQs, IV push into the right upper extremity. And this was administered at 12.03. To file this medication, I'm going to press accept. 
and then you'll see at 12.03, the sodium bicarb was documented. Now the last medication to be administered is normal saline bolus. Let me find normal saline bolus, and you can see it's sodium chloride bolus. I'm going to click on it. The doctor ordered one liter of normal saline. It was a new bag. We gave it intravenously. We administered, administered it through the IV in the right upper extremity. And we administered that at 12.01. I'm going to press accept. And then you'll see at 12.01, we documented that we administered that normal saline bolus. And then you'll see within our timeline, all the medications are documented at the correct time. Next, let's document when we started compressions and when we stopped compressions. To do that, let's go to the interventions section. Let's click on it. Document the time that we started compressions, which was at 12 o'clock. We're going to select initiated and then we're going to press accept. And then you'll see at 12 o'clock for interventions, we initiated compressions. Now let's also document when we stopped compressions. Let's select interventions. Let's select, well, let's type in 1205. We're going to press stopped compressions, and then we're going to press accept. And then you'll see at 1205, we stopped compressions. Now let's document when we defibrillated our patient. So we're going to go to interventions. We defibrillated the patient at 1203. So I'm going to type in the correct time. We shocked the patient at 120 joules. And then we'll press accept to document it. And then you'll see at 1203, the relation was documented. Now let's document any airway interventions that we provided. So now to do that, we're gonna press interventions. And I know that we started providing the AMU bag to the patient at 1201. So I'm going to type in the time 1201. I'm going to select AMBU bag, and then I'm going to press accept. And then you'll see for 1201, we AMBU'd the patient. Another airway intervention that we provided was we intubated the patient at 1203. So let's go to interventions. Let's type in 1203. We intubated the patient and I'm going to press accept to document and then you'll see at 1203 the patient was intubated now there are a few things that we could also add for airway let's go to ah, airway 